What's happening, everyone? Time for another session on Malt Reviews. That's Mike. I'm Narby. What's up, guys? We are going to be doing Dalmore 12 year old. Um, this Dalmore 12 year old is a much older release than the current current bottling and um, we found this bottle at just at a local local liquor store for pretty cheap. How much was this? Would you find it at? 40 bucks. 40 bucks. So an older bottling of Dalmore. Anytime you see an older bottling, you know, most of you guys that are really into whiskey, you know, it's exciting to find an older version. Um, usually, you know, usually doesn't exist anymore. And we're always curious to see what the older quality is like. So, got a few bottles of this. Um, as you can see, the cork on here is not obviously the original cork. We popped another cork in here, as you usually get with older bottlings. Um, a lot of times the cork just kind of breaks off. A lot of times it kind of falls in or it just kind of cracks on top. So we got a bad cork with this bottle. So we just popped this guy in here to protect. Um, We've been uh, using this whiskey to obviously drink as a single malt, but we've also been using it uh, to make cocktails as well. We, we tend to do that with 12-year-old uh, whiskeys. We do that with Highland Park 12. We've done it with this um, Dalmore 12. So, you know, like to use um, some 10 to 12-year-old scotches for cocktails as well sometimes. But right now, this is obviously, we're going to review this as... A sipping single malt. Um, we could show you the color, but as most of you guys know, Dalmore adds colorant to it, so I don't really think it means anything by us telling you what color it is. It is a light, light gold, golden color, but you know, as you guys know, Dalmore adds colorant to their whiskey, so it doesn't really matter. This is bottled at. It doesn't say. It doesn't say what it's bottled at on the bottle. That's very strange. You would think it would, but I think it's at 40%. It's either 40 or 43. I don't know which one it is, but it doesn't say on the bottle. I think it's 40. But yeah. Did it come with the box? Yeah, it did. It did? You have it? No. Okay. But I think it's 40. Okay. So it's either 40 or 43. I apologize, you guys. That's definitely something you should know when you're doing a review, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure. On the nose, this has been breathing for about 15 minutes. It's unique. It's unique and complex in a way that I wouldn't wouldn't expect to be honest with you. It's it's got unique citrus fruits. It's got like a delicate chocolatey element to it. It's also got a slight rubbery element to it. And I know that sounds off-putting, but it's not in a bad way. It's very strange. You'd have to put your nose to it to kind of pinpoint it. And I don't have, we don't have a current bottle of the Dalmore 12 to compare to it. Don't even remember the last time I had it. The last time I had a Dalmore 12 was probably at some random whiskey event. And I just don't remember it. I can't recall to kind of compare it to the current bottling, but I will say it's a little better on the nose than I would expect it to be. So um, exactly, it's pretty unique. But that's mainly what I'm getting. It's got that little bit of that that orange peel, that the the, the, the candied citrus fruits, a very very slight chocolatey element to it. And a little bit of that rubberiness. You picking up, picking up anything else, Micah? It's mainly what what the whiskey's leaving me with. Yeah, I'm getting. Um, at first, I get the typical Dalmore, very heavy uh, oranges, mandarin oranges, some nice vanilla and caramel. But yeah, I am definitely getting, vanilla. I am getting like almost from some peat or something that that little like sweet caramelized kind of rubberiness, like fresh rubber tires but in a sweet caramelized manner that goes well with the mandarin oranges. Yeah. Which is kind of kind of unique, kind of unexpected. Yeah, it's got the, it adds like a little complexity to it in a weird way. It's not it's not something I was expecting at all from it. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that this this 12-year-old is quite different from the current one. 
Um, again, like I said before, I'm not sure how different it is. I, I know I've tried the current release just a few years back probably at some whiskey event, but I can't recall. On the palate? Yes, sir. That rubbery element really, really hits the palate too, like right away. Mm. Bitter orange, orange peel, citrus fruits, quite a bit of vanilla. But I think you said it better. It's 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 kind of got this rubberiness along with the caramel effect to it, right? Yeah. I think you said it better than I did, kind of to describe it because. It's not an off-putting rubberiness. It's almost like a caramelized rubberiness. Not that it sounds so weird to say, but it's yeah. really what it is. And I'm getting vanilla, and it just kind of is that. It's it's the vanilla with a little bit of citrus fruit, that orange, and that that kind of rubbery caramel effect. And and I'm not really picking up anything else. Fill yeah. in the blanks if you're getting at something else. Or just like some orange. Yeah. Some vanilla. And then some heavy caramel, but then yeah, that that rubber coming through. So you get you're getting like it's weird. You're getting a little bit of the typical Dalmore that I've had before of like the mandarin oranges, the vanilla, the caramel, but then this rubbery element. It's really making things interesting. It is complex. One more sip. I guess the main thing that I'm not getting, that I usually always get in, in uh, these Dalmores is like those crazy almonds, those crazy like exquisitely honey glazed almonds. So I wonder if it's, you know, only the aged older Dalmores that do that. Yeah, to be fair, he's a spoiled asshole. He's been drinking Dalmore 50 and Dalmore 25. That's true. So, in Dalmore 1974, and um, yeah, with those Dalmores, he's absolutely right. He's just not used to drinking the 12 year old and obviously you're not gonna get as beautiful of a whiskey in their, in their 12 year old. But I would say, is this, I know it's an older version, so it's not the current version, but let's, you know, just, let's just assume that it's similar quality. At $40, it's okay. I would use it as something that you can drink Definitely as a single malt. I think it qualifies for that. Um, it makes a beautiful cocktail as well. Um, we could talk about that in a different review on another day on on how we like to use scotches and bourbons to kind of uh, create beautiful cocktails. Both for yourself and especially for guests when you have company over. Um, but pretty solid. I would, um, I think I would give this, I'd give this a, 80 out of 100. I'll give it an 82 out of 100. Yeah. And yeah. one thing I'm going to add is on the on my second and third sip back, I started to get like some um, more of the oak, some nice wood, some nice oak. And then that the original citrus, the mandarin oranges, almost mutated into like some lemon and some nice lemon wax wood polish, like some nice caramelized pledge wood polish like you get in, like in a nice old Port Ellen. So that's kind of an interesting complexity that kept evolving. It does have that waxiness and it's kind of, I guess that waxiness is along along the line with the rubberiness. It all just kind of depends on how you're yeah. picking your words. Um, but it does have a waxy element to it absolutely as well. So yeah, I would say the finish is not very long. It's kind of kind of a short finish especially when it comes to the comes to the fruit the citrus fruit and the vanilla and the caramel um i would say that part is short and the waxy and and, and the, um, the rubbery effect kind of lingers a little bit but in terms of the the fruity elements it's very short so it kind of disappears pretty quickly yeah 
uh, not expecting a, t a super long finish in the in the twelve year old range. Um, it's pretty good. Um, is there better better options out there for forty? And there's not too many options, as you guys know, for the price. Um, but but pretty good. All right. Uh, we're actually gonna do a few Dalmore, so stay tuned. I know we've done the really high end range. We've done Dalmore fifty year old, which is insane. We've done Dalmore twenty five year old. We've done Dalmore twenty one year old. Um, so we're gonna do this twelve we just did. We're gonna do the eighteen and the King Alexander as well. So you guys are gonna get kind of um, most of the lineup that Dalmore has to offer here. All right. So we'll see you guys soon for another review. Cheers. Cheers.